Community planning is about local services working better together and with communities to improve the quality of life of the people who live here. The first community plan for the borough is called Connected and it has the long-term vision that by 2030 we will have a happy, healthy and connected community, a vibrant and sustainable economy and appealing places for living, working and learning. There are nine outcomes in the plan arranged around the three themes of community, economy and place. We are using 19 population indicators, or statistics, to track progress towards the outcomes over the long term. The Statement of Progress reports on how we are doing on the 19 population indicators since the publication of the Community Plan in 2017. It's too early to say whether it's had an impact on the statistics, but the Statement of Progress is an opportunity to see how we're doing and where we need to concentrate our efforts over the coming years. Since Connected was published two years ago, skill levels have increased, but are still slightly lower than the Northern Ireland averages. The proportion of people in work has increased from 69% to 74%, which is higher than the Northern Ireland average. There are an additional 610 businesses in the borough, and business birth rates and survival rates have also increased. The number of overnight trips by overseas visitors to the borough has also increased. At the BPA, we value the collaborative environment for businesses in the community planning process and the opportunities through community planning and for local businesses to work towards an economy that benefits everyone. The um, percentage of people who feel as if they've got some decision-making influence within their own local communities and also the percentage of people who have that sense of belonging within the Armagh City, Banbridge, Creek Avon area has increased. Um, over this last number of years, which is absolutely fantastic. There's more people exercising and, and this is having a positive impact on the preventable deaths in the council area, so this is now decreased. However, we do know that there are people in the borough that are benefiting from the strong economic performance and that they do need additional support. Um, and this is something that the Community Plan and Partnership and particularly our um, action group is focusing on, uh, encouraging people to get involved in uh, physical activity. And we can definitely see that in terms of the numbers of opportunities that they're there in terms of even volunteering, but engagement within the local uh, community and voluntary sector within the borough which is really strong and really vibrant. Volunteering is crucial. It changes people's lives but as well as changing people's lives it delivers services to the community. It also has a positive impact on the life of the volunteer. It gives them skills, it gives them confidence. For some people it's the only social contact they have with other people. Given um, the strength of the community partners around the table, it has certainly raised awareness, it has improved networking and to ensure that volunteering stays on the table. At present across the borough, 86% of the adult population engages in arts, culture and creativity. Um, that's the same as the profile across Northern Ireland. Across the UK, creative sector is the fastest growing part of the economy and so we feel there are opportunities here in the borough um, to retain local people, young people in the borough and to attract in new economic development through that. Community planning is an opportunity to raise the profile of arts, culture and creativity which already is quite strong in the borough, but obviously we want to develop it further. And if we can do that um, from the ground up through community planning, we'll increase the levels of engagement and participation. Community planning allows us as a council to put decision making at the heart of our communities. It allows us to work with community leaders, businesses and statutory partners to ensure that we are able to revitalise our town centres and villages. It's been a very difficult economic climate internationally but vacancy rates within our town centres have remained steady. We want our places and facilities to be for people of all ages and abilities. We will work as a partnership to improve accessibility. The Housing Executive is a proud and committed um, partner in the Community Planning Partnership. Since 2016, the demand for social housing has increased across the borough and we are hopeful that through our partnerships and the working relationships established through community planning that we'll be able to come together as statutory partners to develop innovative and collaborative solutions that can address these issues and provide much needed social homes. The community planning partnership has only been up and running for a short period of time but we've achieved a huge amount in that space of time particularly around relationship development across uh, the different organisations and getting the plan launched and established. 
a lot of work to be done over the next number of years. There's no point in starting this if we're not able to, to deliver it over the longer term. So having sustainability through the whole plan is a critical aspect of it. Equality in this day and age is, is something that needs to be underwritten and underpinned. And making the connections across the organisations and the work plans that we're doing but I'm convinced that with the, the people that we have in the room and the organisations, uh, we'll achieve uh, what we're setting out to do.